Hi guys, welcome to my channel. You, again. Today we're going to cover the hottest topic of the season. Spring summer 2023 trends. We've got a lot of work to do. You requested it and I've listened to you. So I cannot wait to share my top five favorites today with you guys. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Let's get into it. Okay, our first trend and you know with the first one we have to start big right to keep your interest going and make sure you guys watching this till the very end uh, what the wtf are you doing number one trend is naked uh? that's right first of all let's take a look on the runway my favorite looks are coming from valentino this season i absolutely love how they styled like the naked the nude bodysuits with the other pieces in the bottom today we're gonna look into something that you could wear you know just go to the store buy it and wear it right now unless you already have it yes girl yes i personally have the nude bodysuit in my closet for like a couple of years already so look number one let's go with the long sleeve version this one i got from zara and i'll make sure to link it below we are going to pair it with the denim skirt i found at nasty gal final touch let's do the denim boots because this is gonna give us that super chic and a little bit edgy moment bag wise i realized that i don't have the bag that would be ideal in my mind so i'm just gonna give you a couple suggestions so this would give you idea behind this look okay moving on look number two for the naked trend okay so let's start with the bodysuit that i had for a while that the tank top kind and we are going to pair it with the satin skirt satin is actually another spring summer 2023 trend and i think that would be so cool to pair those two together and we are going to add a pair of satin boots as well and they're open toe both skirt and the boots are from zara actually this look is inspired by the look that i styled for netta porte this is literally the same bodysuit that i'm wearing but I was trying to match it with the model skin tone. I'm going to link this better suit as well. It skims. Oh my God. And I paired with this gorgeous crystal bag. Okay, so this might look familiar to you, but this bag is not Bottega. This bag is JW Pay. I saw for the first time this brand in Paris when we went to our honeymoon in November. I went to print times and on the contemporary floor, they had this bread and, and I made a mental note to check out this brand later, which I did. And guess what? I found this brand on Amazon. How amazing is that? Trend number two, transparent. We're talking about tool fabrics, chiffon, any other like jersey fabrics that are sheer. So don't limit yourself with the options. I've got an idea. Here on the runway references, you see different interpretations of this trend. And honestly, this is so beautiful. It gives me the goddess vibes, something airy and easy. Let's take a look. Uh, let's take it. Let's take it. Let's take a look at the looks that I've put together for you guys. Oh my god. Look number one. So I'm going to put my tank top bodysuit under and I'm gonna start with the pants. Then I'm gonna add like the tunic top. And you know, I'm short, so let's not forget I'm just 5'4 and I love how long it is. Another trend that we're covering here is also maxi length. I'm gonna pair it with a burgundy slides and burgundy fringe bag. Fringe is actually another trend of the season. So in one look, we covered three trends. Isn't it amazing? This set I actually got back in December at Zara. I'm not sure if it's still online, but you guys can do research and check if maybe you could find it on poshmark or ebay the next look is more girl what now everyday look we are going to start again with my tank top bodysuit and you see it's very helpful to have that kind of bodysuit in your wardrobe because you could put it under something else then we're gonna add a pair of leather pants i have the skinny version and i want to say like it for this look because it gives me saint laurent vibes who is also 
one of my favorite designers you guys do know Schiaparelli and Saint Laurent are my people my people and I stick with them always then we are going to pair it ha, with the Saint Laurent gloves I'm so unpredictable uh, there are a couple ways how we could style this blouse we could either like leave it open and put ties around your neck or what we could also do is to like button it up and do the bow tie I'm adding a pair of kitten heel mills here as you know I love 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 kitten heels bag wise I'm adding that 90 shape vintage Gucci bag and I think it looks very cute together and if you want you can just throw the blazer over this look and I would recommend you to go like dark brown chocolate brown I don't know why I didn't try on the red one but I will show you this blazer so you guys could see because I think that would have been a great addition I just realized it now it's very similar on vibes also like the velvet fabric or corduroy trend number three cat suit don't be scared and please don't stop watching this video right at this moment I don't know I don't know I don't know I don't know let's take a look at the runway I love the Prada version of the cat suit it's so amazing to see that it's done like in a button-down shirt way and honestly it looks so cool it's so here are the references from the runway and let's do our business let's do it our way and put a couple looks together with the cat suit so you guys could envision better how you can wear a cat suit not just on the runway i know you all like walk on the runway every day but like for once in a while come down to earth come down right here you know okay we are starting again with my tank top kind bodysuit under because it's a sheer bodysuit so again right we're covering sheer moment here too besides this being catsuit trend we're also covering the sheer trend what a shocker then we're adding catsuit over it then we're going to add a pair of kitten heel sandals with a little crystals so that catsuit is from zara i'm gonna link it down below if you you know what not if you would risk to try it i dare you to try it to at least buy and try it on if you don't like it you can always return it but i dare you to try the cat suit for bigglesworth gets upset and of course we're adding that crystal bag here again isn't it look chic if i would be going out and i don't go out just so you know i'm not a party person that's something that i would wear but you know what i have one more trick up my sleeve so let me pull it out how about the feather coat i think oh my god this look is complete now this coat also from nasty girl that was like saturday morning i woke up and i realized i just need to have a feather coat like long feather ostrich coat and i just started googling there was another great option but that was like seven thousand dollars and i was like no no way so i was scrolling all the images that google was suggesting to me and i saw this one and i was like oh my god this looks great so i got the black version another look you know like if by this point you're thinking like okay this girl talks like things like suggesting us things to wear that i would never wear in my life okay no i got you too if you think this is too extreme too risque free scare also i've got a look for you what a girl wants what a girl needs we're gonna start with a white t-shirt then we're gonna add this bash cat suit i did research i wanted to find the kind that would be inspired by you know my favorite product cat suit and i came across one on real real so i went for it the brand name is bash i'm gonna pair it with the loafers just because i love loafers so much but another good option here would be chunky slides could be also vintage kind sneakers like adidas and wales bonner could be adidas samba could be adidas gazelle and also i'm going to show you i don't remember how to pronounce this name but i found this brand on amazon and i absolutely love their sneakers check it out i put it on the screen and i'm gonna link them below as well and just like oversized large bag and sunglasses <laughs> moving on to the trend number four Yay. and this is i have to say the trend that i was most excited about editorial speaking wise did i say it correctly i'm gonna give you a, a sneak peek to the mood board that i did and it's exactly about this trend the draping so in my ideal world i wanted to take those looks with the different variations of the drape and shoot them against the oculus bag 
backgrounds. Can you see like the connections of the fabric and the architecture? Like it gives you the draping vibe, right? It's continuing the story. But Oculus said that we have to pay 10K to shoot there. And I was like, no, this is insane. This is like for editorial shoot and you are going to get so much exposure from it and that's not how it works for the editorial shoots just so you know oculus there is another way of executioning it and you're gonna see it at some point anyway here is a little bit of pre-story and you already like you've got to take a look at the runway inspiration and of course schiaparelli is here san Laurent is here my people are here i feel so good when they're around let's see what we can do so let's start with the brown suit then we're going to add the top and as you see like the top has this draping effect after that let's put the blazer just over over the shoulders and i'm going to pair it with leopard kidney heels these are too small for me and i'm going to exchange to my size that's why you can see still the tags attached there those shoes are from zara the top is from zara the brown suit is from asus and you will find all links below animal print is another trend of spring summer 2023 season no way way if you don't want to go all the way like leopard look head to toe or like you know other animal print head to toe i think accessories could be great way for you like kin heel shoes could be also leopard bag you know like I had the mini one you've seen it like number of times already and of course we adding the chocolate brown belt if you haven't seen video about how to elevate your look very easy make sure to check it out next look in this category we are going to start with the maxi denim skirt and i love this off-white ivory shape and we're going to style it with a cowl neck top skirt i got from zara link will be below top i got from real real then we are going to add a belt with a gold buckle we are going to add a pair of chunky sandals and i love the idea of layering this look with another touch of something comfy i feel like it needs an extra element here and i'm going to use striped sweater very chunky very cozy very big and you can style it in different ways and add like some oversized bag you would look very chic and our final trend number five for today finally is bad romance we are going to start with a semi sheer bodysuit here off shoulder very pretty and then we're going to add the lace skirt over it you know it gives me like dior wipes so now that i'm wearing it i feel like i look a little bit exposed so mentally it's not comfortable for me what i'm doing here is adding a neat top like bra top this one is kate i got it on kate sample sale for like pretty much nothing but you still can find it online or real real or ebay or poshmark and it also gives me you know like ballet vibes i used to do ballet just for a little bit and it's bad romance because we don't have like anything under you know for the shoes firstly i was debating like what shoes do i want with this and I realized like I need boots because we're going for bad romance. We're not going just for nice and cute romance. We're going for the bed. So we need like some roughness. And I feel like these boots that I have, they're pretty old. So you're not going to find them online. I think they finished this look. The last look for today is going to be pretty easy, but hopefully inspiring. We are going to start with a bodysuit, lace bodysuit. The one I have, I got in Victoria's Secret like six years ago. Then we're adding a pair of relaxed jeans baggy like boyfriend type jeans after we're done here we're gonna add a belt my ideal shoes for this look would be the kate ones you see them right now on the screen but i don't have them so i thought let's make it work and i'm adding again the pair of those they call the naked sandals and for the final touch we are adding this sheer airy cape this cape is from zara it's current season i'm going to link it down below the jeans that i have are eve's denim also i'm gonna link them below and i feel like i'm a goddess so these were the five trends that i wanted to share with you guys today if you enjoyed this video please put like and subscribe to my channel a new video comes out every friday thanks for watching and i will see you very soon